Making a demo yourself. Some coaches say, no, don't do it. Go to a studio uh, because you've got professionals there. You can make an absolutely pristine one. Obviously, you're spending a bit of money on it, but it will sound so much better than a homemade demo. However, there is what I call the paradox of the showreel. And that is, if you go to a studio and you spend whatever it costs, 150, 200, 300 pounds, whatever you're spending just making a showreel with the producer, then make this demo uh, in the studio. It will sound very, very good. However, your, your home recording gear, chances are it's not going to sound as good as the actual demo that you recorded. So for the client, if they're listening to your demo, your home, your your studio produce showreel. They're going to go, oh, that's good. You know, used a I don't know Neumann U eighty seven microphone, you know, two thousand pounds worth of mic, uh, and a Focusrite liquid channel uh, interface for about a thousand pounds. You've got to have for at least three thousand pounds worth of equipment there, and a, a fully sealed uh, voiceover booth, a whisper booth, or whatever. Um, you've then got to. Com- contrast that with what you actually produce for your clients which is something i produce in my back bedroom with some old blankets and curtains and and uh and, and a usb mic a blue yeti or something for 120 pounds so it's never going to match it so if you do go and, and and go to a professional to have it made always bear in mind that eventually at some point you're going to have to record from home you have to, you're going to have to do your auditions from home aren't you so if you do you're going to get a very different uh, very different sound and that I think is always the is always the problem and like I say it's sort of a paradox in in showreel recording that you know you can end up with this beautiful beautifully produced thing uh, but by the same token you've got uh, um, you've got a different sound from home and I think that's always uh, that's always an issue uh, you say please also suggest the best way to do that and I think you mean to to recall from home and do your showreel from home I would say, in fact, I've got a, a video if you want to to search through where I'm just saying start with the planning. So if you write down, just write down or note down in, in, on, on your computer or something, the, the format it should take. Now you've got a you've got a few options with show reels. One is to have a montage, so that means doing absolutely everything on there but cramming it into 90 seconds. Don't go for more than a minute and a half. I think that's your absolute maximum. And I would say you can have a montage, which is a a sort of shop window. So it's your greatest hits or your best bits from a variety of genres. So you might do something like a commercial, start with a commercial, maybe do promo, a bit of an audio book, perhaps some character voices if if you like doing character voices put that in there, but they've got to be short bursts, of course, because you've only got a minute and a half. You've only got this 90 second window in which to to do the whole thing because clients have, and listeners generally have very short attention spans and they will listen for what, five, 10 seconds at most. So you've kind of got to get it. um, You've got to get them uh, grab their attention. So start with your strongest piece. So if your strongest piece actually is a piece of corporate, but not the commercial or not your character voices, not your audio book, start with that. So I would always begin with, uh, with, with a good strong piece. 